Part of the advantage of using Revit is the fact that it's built on a database. That database can query the information associated with each family to create schedules on the fly. To better illustrate this, let's go ahead and create a special kind of schedule, one that's called a column schedule. So let's go ahead and move up here to View up on the ribbon and select on View because we're going to be creating a schedule view, which happens to be a view of Revit's database. Now we're going to look for our schedules, and it's this button right up here. We'll click on that, and then you'll always get this pull-down menu whenever you're getting ready to create a schedule. In this case, we want to do a graphical column schedule. Now we really need to be careful here because if we blink, we're going to miss it. We're going to click, and suddenly it's created the entire schedule. We're not going to worry too much about the message that just popped up for right now. What it's saying is that it didn't create a schedule for the two little slanted columns that were down there, and that's because they had some special properties associated with them. But for your typical everyday columns, your average everyday column schedule like this will just automatically on the fly. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Right now, it just looks like some just straight lines, which is basically what it is. And the reason why is because right now we're at a coarse level of detail. If we change this to be a fine level of detail, we can now see our individual columns. And what we're really looking at here is each and every column that happens to be at a specific grid throughout the entire project. So if I zoom down here, we can see the columns for A-1, A-2, A-3. And if they sit at that column location, then they're going to show up on the list here. As a matter of fact, if you'd end up selecting on any of these columns, you'll see the properties related to that specific column over here underneath properties. Not that you would ever do this next step, but I will state that you could even come in here and choose a different column off of the list. It automatically update here, it automatically update in all of your elevations as well in plain view 3D everywhere throughout the entire project. The reason is, is that once again, at its heart, Revit is just a gigantic database. So if you change the information in one spot, it'll update that information, those columns, those beams, those everything throughout the entire project. That being stated, we saw how fast it was able to create this. Now, this may or may not be the way we would want it to look. Now, if we wanted to have different sorts of line weights, line representations, maybe different fonts, all that can be controlled actually through the properties of the schedule itself. So to do that, all you have to do is click somewhere into a blank area and then look over here in the properties. Now, if we scroll down on the properties here, we can see a variety of different options. One of those things is text appearance. If you click on edit to that, this is where you can change such things as the fonts, what their size is, how they display, their widths, all that kind of information. You notice there's a tab here that says grid appearance. There will also be a button over here that has the same thing. And from here, you can change such things as what the actual dimensions are of these grids and that kind of information. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel to this just to get out of the dialog box. You'll see there's also options here for include off shows as being GRI. Well, if you move your mouse until you just see this little black symbol that I have going on right here, you can click and hold your mouse button down and drag this column out to be able to read more of that information. In this case, it's saying include off-grid columns, so any columns that aren't necessarily on a structural grid. Also, there's an option here for do you want to group similar locations. Now, if you decide to group similar locations, what it's going to do is that any time that the same columns are going to end up showing up again and again and again, they can then be grouped together so we don't have this entire long list. All we would see is just those specific column conditions and the properties associated with them. So let's go ahead and take a look at that by just putting a check mark here next to group similar locations. You'll notice how on the fly this ended up updating. Each of these happened to be the exact same column throughout the entire project, which is why this went down to a list of essentially one. We can see it's grouped by first floor, second floor, third floor, and it's trying to push all those different column abbreviations just into one cell, so it's not quite wanting to fit. But you get the idea that by just putting a check mark here, you can make this chart be much smaller. Also, if we look down on these properties just a little bit more, we can see such things as what the name of this schedule is going to be. Moving further down, there's an option here for top level and bottom level. So if we don't want to see all the columns on this schedule, we just want to see between certain floors, we can specify that. There's also options here for column location start and column locations end. That's going to be between columns and you specify 
A1 or B1 and specify, you know, between those column grids as to which columns you want to see on the schedule. Now, one of the reasons why you might decide to do that is if maybe you have hundreds and hundreds of columns and there's no way they're all going to fit on a single sheet. By doing this, you can create essentially several individual schedules. Each one can have their own properties up there and each schedule could then show up here on the list and you can just drag each schedule onto each sheet that you'd want to have it on. So by leveraging Revit's built-in database capabilities and it's being able to keep track of this being column or whatever kind of object, creating a column schedule is really an extremely fast process.